guys and welcome back to my world. Right, today I have a button that remotely activates a redstone signal without any wires or redstone being connected from this button to whatever the circuit is that I want to activate. So the circuits that I have is I've got a light over there, I've got a light over there, a light up there, and a light over there. Okay, there's more lights o all over the place, but uh, because of the chunks unloading and uh, reloading, that kind of that kind of breaks it a bit. But anyway, so this one button will turn all of these lights on, and if I hit it again, it'll turn it off. Okay, and there's absolutely no wires at all, no redstone running into these lamps. There we go. I feel like a magician, so I'm waving my hand underneath it, waving my hand in circles. See, there's no wires going from this button to these redstone lamps. Okay, so let's see if this works. So here we go. And there we go. That one's on, that one's on, that one's on, and that one's on. So I have four, let me just make it dark again quickly. So I have four lights lighting up with one button, none of them connected. All right, so I'm just going to click it again and it'll go off. There we go. Off, 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 off. So here we have a remote button that activates a remote circuit <laughs> um, without it being connected at all. Right, so how does it work? It uses the new test for command. Right, so you'll see over here, I've got test for at player level minimum equals 1010 or 1010. Okay, if it finds that I am that level, it activates, right, so it activates the signal. The signal runs into this command block, which then removes 10,000 levels from me, so in effect just clears my XP totally, uh, and then locks this command block. Okay, so this, so if I have that amount of XP, it locks it, so I'll, you'll, you'll see it working here now because I do have it. So there we go. Okay, so it now removed the, the 1,010 from me and it locked it so that one couldn't fire. Now that I have no XP, okay, this will be false. Okay, so it will go off. Uh, it will unlock this um, the repeater and it will flag this particular uh, command block, which just says, gives me uh, 1,010 XP. And that then causes that, uh, the lights to be turned on. Right, I mean, does that make sense to you guys? So, on removes it, which turns the lights off. Uh, off, well, sorry, other way around. So, on adds XP, turns the lights off. On, oh, bleh, sorry, <laughs> I'm, doing, I'm going a bit weird here. <clears throat> so, off removes XP and turns the lights off. On gives me XP and turns the lights on. Okay, so the circuit that I've got running here is exactly the same uh, command block that I've got there. Uh, let me just show you guys. So what I have here is just a, a very quick clock that pulses, a pulse clock. Um, it runs into this particular uh, command block, which just does test for at player level minimum equals uh, 1,010. Okay, and if, it's p and if I am 1,010, it will then activate these lights so that's really as simple as it is I mean what I could also do is um, for example let's maybe how many how are we four minutes into the video um, what we you could always do is for example uh, change that that light activates on 2010 that light activates at 3010 that light activates at 4010 and then have four buttons so that you could individually turn on and off each one of these these lights cool I mean it's very simple very straightforward but a great way of controlling yeah various redstone circuits cool guys thanks for watching and uh, yeah there's a lot more of these coming so uh, yeah I will check you all later